hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another date night look for you guys as we're in the month of february i'm going to be doing a lot of date night looks so this is one of them this is a very simple beautiful fluffy twist out so yeah if you're not already subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to show you how i did this amazing gorgeous thick like look at this twist out just look at this look at this twist out guys just look at this twist out it's so beautiful i'm going to be showing you guys how i did this as part of my series for date night looks for this february let me tell you guys something <clears throat> this is a upar wig yes it's a upar wig this is a upar wig on my head so basically i have a wig on my head and i just blended it with my hair in front and if i didn't tell you you would not know because this thing looks seamless seamless absolutely seamless just look at that so i'm going to show you guys um how i did it if you're not already subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button down below turn your notification button to be notified for when i upload my videos and without further ado sit tight and let's jump straight into the video so as usual this hair is from her given hair and this is the box that it comes with it comes in with everything inside the wig storage bag instructions on how to take care of the wig and all of that it is a 20 inch curly textured upa wig natural color 1b and cap size medium i normally wear a large and this is a medium and this fit me perfectly so medium will fit most heads so that is the part where you cut out so that um, it becomes a upa wig and as you can see it comes with a lot of combs and an adjustable strap to make sure that it fits your head perfectly so this is what the wig looks like on a mannequin head before I do anything to it straight out of the box. You can actually wear it in this texture like this. Um, this is the coily texture that fits 3C, 4A hair. I have 4C hair. So the texture that will fit my raw like unmanipulated hair would, would be their kinky texture which fits like 4B, 4C hair. But since I was doing a twist out, this coily texture fit me properly. So normally i can wear both the coily and the kinky depending on how i style it but yeah this is the coily texture so as you can see i've twisted most of the hair and i'm just showing you guys how i do the twist so i spray some water on the section apply leave-in conditioner use any leave-in conditioner that you like rake it through the hair and this hair is so butter soft like really really soft even when you're applying condition and everything next i take some gel apply it to that section and then i do a simple twist actually before i twist i take a brush and i brush through the hair just to detangle it you know and define the curls and whatever if you're actually doing a wash and go on this wig this is how the curls would define so as you can see it fits 3c 4a hair if you're doing a wash and go but i'm doing a twist out so i can still use the coily textured wig so now i am just um twisting it and that's basically it. I spray some water, apply leave-in, apply gel, and twist. Very straightforward. I had about 17, 18 twists all around on the wig. So this is what a simple twist looks like. Very nice, very chunky. So now I'm just going ahead to twist the last section. As usual, apply the water leave-in gel, then twist, brush it, then twist. It, this really didn't take me a long time at all. It took me less than 30 minutes to twist the entire wig. So this is something you can definitely do the night before. Let's say you're going out on Saturday. You can twist the wig on Friday, Friday night. By Saturday morning, it's already dry. And then you can unravel the twist, blend it with your hair in less than 10 minutes, and you are good to go. So this is the fully twisted wig. 17 twists all around. I'm just going to leave this to dry overnight. And then the next morning, the next day, actually, it was next evening that I unraveled this wig. The next evening, we're going to unravel the wig and blend. And this is all the shed hair I got. So now we're about to start the fun part. We're going to start blending this with our hair. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut open the um, U part in the front of the wig. The part I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. So now it's open. As you can see, my hair is braided and I left some hair in front, some twist in front because my hair was actually in twist. You guys know I keep my hair in twist. So I left twist in front to blend and now I'm putting the wig on my head. I should have actually left out some twist on the edges of my hair, the perimeter of my hair, but I'm going to do that later on in the video. Right now, I'm just fitting it on my head and seeing how it's going to 
work so now i'm unraveling my twist and you guys look at the definition this definition is on point the definition all around the twist came out perfectly like this is a perfect twist out on this wig so now i'm just going to unravel everything before i start blending i haven't pulled out the twist at the edges of my hair yet but i'm gonna do that and also my wig cap is showing at the top but everything i'm going to cover everything as you guys will see in the video so don't worry about that so i'm just gonna turn around so you guys see the definition all around perfection now i've pulled out my um edge twist and i'm just going to unravel those on both sides and now i'm unraveling the twist at the top the part that i left out This wig is a little, like the color of the wig is just like a tiny, 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 tiny bit different from my hair. But after I blend everything, is you're not going to be able to tell. Everything is just going to blend in. So I really didn't have a problem with that. But for some people that are very like OCD and have, need to have everything perfect, you feel free to dye the wig to your exact hair color if you want to do that. So now I'm just fluffing and it was so easy to fluff. Like it, that was the easiest part to be honest. Just fluffing the wig giving it more volume that was so easy to do i didn't even need to use a pick i just did it with my hands i'm also fluffing my hair as well to blend it with the wig so now i'm fluffing the other side And the more I fluff, the bigger the wig gets. You guys know I like like a lot of volume. I love big hair. So I really went in and fluffed. If you don't want it this big, then obviously do not fluff as much. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape. Like it's starting to look amazing. Okay, so now I'm done fluffing. I'm coming up close so you guys see my scalp. Look at that. My hair covers the entire top, so it just looks like it is my hair. The edges is all my hair around there, all my hair around the perimeter, all my hair around the top part that I left. So it just blends really seamlessly. It looks like it's my hair. It looks like the entire thing is growing out of my scalp. So I went ahead and put some makeup to come show you guys the final look and tell me this thing is not my hair Please tell me it is not my hair. This looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks beautiful This is such a beautiful easy to do date night look. I absolutely love this You don't have to worry about blending lace. You don't have to worry about laying lace You don't have to worry about lace lifting. You don't have to worry about track showing. You don't have to worry about any of that my hair covers the important places and the wig just looks absolutely beautiful so this is the final look i'm gonna leave all the information for everything down below i think the dress is from pretty little thing the bag my mommy gave me that bag i can't remember where the earrings are from right now but i'm definitely gonna leave it down below okay guys so this is the final result just look at that tell me this is not my hair this Yuba wig is just perfect. It matches my twist out perfectly, as you guys can see. I got a length that was long enough to match my hair, so that's what even made it look even more natural. I absolutely love this. Like, this is just, this is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. You guys know I tried the Yuba wig a few months ago, but that was kinky straight, and it was a hassle blending that with my hair. But this one blended with my hair so easily. All I did was undo my twist out and blend everything together, and it matches my hair very very well everything just blends easily so if you're getting a Yupa wig it is very very important to get something that matches your hair texture also if you get something that's closer to your hair length that also helps as well I love the density of the wig it just looks like my hair it looks very very beautiful so you can basically just twist your wig overnight and the next day unravel the twist blend it with your hair and you are good to go this thing is so secure <laughs> it's not going anywhere it's not falling out of my head it's strong 10 out of 10 from me i this is absolutely beautiful i have no complaints about this at all the hair feels amazingly soft it was easy to fluff this wig is on the expensive side it's a little pricey 
However, it is such a good investment. This one is going to last you a very, very long time. This is something that you can wear as often as you like, to be honest. And because the U Power Week, you can basically style it in so many different ways. I could have done this as a side part if I wanted to. I can pull my hair back. Like, you can do so much with the U Power Week. So, this is definitely a good investment. And, and you can also do like a braid out with it. You can do like a twist and curl. You can do a roller set. Any way you will style your own natural hair, you can do it on this and just blend your hair with it in the front. So, yeah, um, I love this. I love this. I love it. I love it. Like, I, I, I love this so much. Like, I dressed up, did my makeup and everything for this video. But now I actually want to go somewhere because of how beautiful this looks. But yeah, this is definitely a nice date night look. If you're going out, all the information about this hair is going to be down below in the description box. So please make sure you check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on this side. Also, do not forget to watch my other good videos on this side. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.